Hey man. Hey man. I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Appreciate your channel. You got some really heavy duty fishing going on there. Yeah, that's what we like. We like the big stuff. Yeah. So we, we caught bait so we can catch bigger bait. Which can catch the big fish we want. Which can catch the big fish we want. How big northern pikes have you caught? Of all the sharks and black groupers, I'll, my pike story is still my favorite fish story. And I'll tell you the whole story right now. That was awesome, man. Thank you. Was it worth the drive up? It definitely was. I'm going to spot you. This is like powerless in the gym. If you don't have a spotter, you can go in the water and die. This is a very dangerous sport. Do not ever, ever try this by yourself. Yo, one, yo, one. Jesus Christ! We both learned a lot today. Hey, and next time when I start screaming, Joan, 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 that means grab whatever save you me. Can save me. And save me from getting pulled okay. over. Working for you? Yeah, it's still rolling. Yeah. Come on, you be the captain. Okay. What? You're captain? Yeah, no, 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 you're the captain. You drive. You drive. This is your thing. Rolling? Rolling. <clears throat> All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Yu Wan Rue, and I am from the YouTube channel Canal Gratis Daresi. And I've traveled to the land of the free to fish with Joshua Jurgensen, who's running Black Tip Age YouTube channel. Hey man. Hey man. Glad you're here. Yeah. Appreciate your channel. You got some really heavy duty fishing going on there. Yeah, that's what we like. We like the big stuff. Yeah. And today we brought a friend. We did. Colby. Yep. Coolest name in the world, I think. Colby. I think so. Yeah. What are we going to catch today? What do you want to catch? Uh, I want to see Colby catch a, like a really big Goliath. Colby is the guy behind the camera. Colby is the first one who's going to get behind the rod and he's going to catch a Goliath today. Don't you think so? I think so. You think so? But, you know, we're going to have to catch some live bait first. I think we're going to go try to get some live bonitas. Yeah. Fresh bait. We got frozen bait, but live is fresh and live is, is usually the best. Um, and we're going to try some different wrecks. Be sure to check out Black Tip Age. Let's head out and get him. All right, so we just arrived in the barge here and we caught some bait fish. Yep. Uh, bait fish sardines, no? Yep, got some Spanish sardines. Spanish sardines. We're going to use those for trolling? Yeah, we're going to troll real slow. We're going to get some bonita for Goliath and shark bait. Yeah, so we, we caught bait so we can catch bigger bait. Which can catch the big fish we want. Which to catch the big fish we want. Catch the bait to catch the bait to catch the fish we want. And it's fun catching Benita, you know? It's good Bonitos. times. It's fun watching them get chased by the sharks and the Goliath groupers. Yeah. You're gonna see. You're gonna see one or two Benitas occasionally, they, do, they uh, die. Uh, <laughs> we're, gonna lose, we're, gonna, we're gonna lose a little more yeah. than that. We're gonna try our best though. That's what we're showing. We're not gonna, if we anchor, we're gonna lose more than 70% of them. Okay. So by trolling, we're gonna kinda we're still on the sharks oh, yeah, playing us down. standing still? It's, yeah, yeah, we're so now the, the Goliaths okay. can't follow us as easy, you know? We're gonna stay mobile. I'm mobile. Steer the boat, and Josh is gonna rig out. Where you want me to go, Josh? Just, North or south? Uh, just go slow, very slow, slow, as slow as possible, just in gear, and just, just we're gonna start trolling around the barge, right? Okay, we're good. Okay, so I'm going forward like real slow here. Yep, like that, yep. Like one knot. Mm-hmm, perfect. My GPS right here. You see these? You see the barge? You see? We're gonna just troll right around. Yeah, this you area. got an external GPS here. Yeah, you need yeah. that. Because you bounce around so many boats. Uh huh. <laughs> but we got a brush here. So, yeah. So whoever whoever gets the boat dirty. That, that's Colby's. Got a Colby's. Colby's job. That's our uh, job. Yeah. No, Colby's. He's doing the camera and the brush. <laughs> uh, the rule. Of, the rule when I'm on a boat is, he that makes the mess cleans it up. Yeah. Everyone is curious about Colby now. They're wondering who's that guy who's with that this, name. Who's, who's, this Colby? Col who's this Colby yeah. you speak of? Tell you what, this is a really fun guy. Really nice guy. Got his own fishing line company. Oh yeah, Bull Buster Lines. We got yeah. it spooled on the reel over there. Really? Yeah, we just spooled it up. Yeah, we're gonna go commercialize here a bit now. All right, we'll have a look at that later. We, uh, he's, gonna, he's gonna have to show us in person how strong those lines are. Yeah, you know what? Huh? How I about mean, that? <laughs> I've used it before, but we're, we're, we're going to put it to the test today. Yeah. It's a lot of fun, you know, from Europe where we fish, we do a lot of pelagical sharpshooting for sander. Yeah. Very quality to walleye. We sharpshoot, we find them on a the sonar, we drop down and we shoot them. And, um, or, or, or we fish for them. And, oh, he's getting uh, nervous, he's getting nervous, real nervous. The good thing when you do that is that you learn a lot about sonar technology. And uh, you can take that information and apply it here. And uh, nobody here is actually going to care 
because <laughs> you don't need a sonar here to catch fish no. because they're like everywhere. <laughs> hey, I love catching pike. That's, one of, that's my favorite freshwater species because yeah. it takes a lot of skill to, to find a big fish, to consistently find big fish, yeah. and it takes a lot more skill to get them to bite because they're smart and they yeah. don't always eat. And they're tricky because they, they follow the lure and they, they turn away. They follow it, turn away. I mean, I mean, how many how many of your viewers have gone through that? You know, they're hunting a pike and they got a big pike following the lure, but he won't hit. It's frustrating. Frustrating. But it's it, it's what makes you come back. Yeah. You know, there's a big fish out there. Yeah. Then you just put on a busted jerk, like rubber or whatever, it goes boom. How oh, big? How big? How big northern pike have you caught? Biggest pike I ever caught in my life. It took me three years to catch it. It lived at this marina. It's actually my. Of all the sharks and glack groupers, I'll, my pike story is still my favorite fish story. Oh, really? And I'll tell you the whole story right now. Let, you want You guys want to hear? You guys want to hear Joshua's pike fish story? I, I do. I've caught so many fish. I mean, different saltwater and freshwater species, but this is my favorite story. It took me three years. I was 14 years old when I finally got him. Um, this pike was so smart. For 15 years, people have been trying to catch this pike. You know, and, and it was in a marina called the Sportsman Inn in Killarney, Ontario. Yeah. Um, and we'd watch the pike follow our lures up. We'd watch him follow our lab bait up. I remember one time there was this giant school of suckers, all circling in, in, in a big vertical school. And um, I snagged one of them because I wanted to use it for the pike, you know? I snagged it and he, there was a floating dock right there. Yeah. And he came flying out of the floating dock. He came this close to it yeah. and he's like, nah. Because he knew, and he turned around. Finally, I got him, and when I hooked him, he came straight towards me. There was uh, some sunken, lo uh, sunken logs. He came towards me, and he, went, he knew to go through those logs. He tried to break me off. We had to dive in with goggles, and we had to put the rod through the, through the, uh, really? through the, the, the tree, yeah. uh, the sunken uh, the two, two trees, yeah. and then we had to continue the fight. We netted it, we weighed it, it was 26 and a half pounds. Wow, that's amazing a, fish. Congratulations, that's oh. a very, very big pike. It was, I mean, I, I don't know if I'll ever get one that big again in my life, but I'm very, that's say my favorite fish story. That's a good fish story, Josh. So we're not having any luck by catching the bait, to catch the bait. So um, we're gonna stop right there, we're gonna use frozen bait. Yeah. Frozen bonita. Every day's different, man. I mean, you gotta bring, yeah. you gotta bring backup bait. Yeah. You don't have backup bait, you get a day like, like 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 you can get a day like today, where there's nothing. Nothing. And like, then tomorrow there's so much fish you don't even know what to do with them. Yeah. You know? and that's that's fishing. So now we're gonna use frozen bonita. Everybody's gonna get behind the reel. I'm gonna get behind the camera. We're gonna get some serious fishing done. I think so. So we're going to try to get on the west side of the barge, and we're gonna drift over top of the Goliaths. They're structured fish, so they. They're not going to really want to leave the barge much, so we want to make sure we get right on top of them to get a bite. All right, Colby, you ready, man? Catch a Goliath grouper? I'm ready. Dude, you came all the way from Miami, and uh, you never caught one, right? No, never seen one. I'm going to spot you. This is like powerlifting the gym. If you don't have a spotter, you can go in the water and die. This is a very dangerous sport. Do not ever, ever try this by yourself. So let me see if is this set up right, so I'm sitting on it. You're sitting on it, yep. Dude, they're gonna pull so hard. I'm prepped. All right. Really lazy fish. So, because of that, um, they like to sit in, they like to point their mouth in the direction that the tide's going. Okay. The tides move this way, they're sitting right here. They're just waiting for something to swim by and they're gonna eat it. Pretty much gotta drop this in his mouth, huh? You know, when they find it, they're gonna, they're gonna chase it. But until, until we find where the fish are, you know, that's the tricky, that's what we got, that's the problem we gotta solve right now. We got a northeast wind. So, and we don't wanna drift into this guy over here. All right, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the fish away from the barge. Uh, you can see the barge is right here, and uh, it's bad. I mean, if, if the fish get in the barge, they break you off right away. So, if you can get the fish away from the barge, then you have a much better chance of catching a bigger fish. We're just doing a drift, and we're just, you know, like we start at one end and we, and we move down and the fish will follow the bait. And then, and then uh, when we get them following us, you know, we tease them a little bit. Like I just, like I just did right now, pull the line up a little bit. And see, now it's all sand. So now we, now we can drop the bait down a little bit more. We don't have to worry about being broken off. 
and they'll hit. I see a giant, he's coming right now. Big one. Real big. They're finicky, man. There, there he goes. goes. Oh, he hit it. Nice he, he, he bounced it. There, oh, there he goes. You got him. There we go, real, 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 real. Come on, come on. Come on, 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 come on. You got him, you got him, come on, come on, come on. Just, just, just hold your ground when he runs, he's gonna run. Hold up, he hasn't, he, I don't even, uh, he hasn't even started fish, uh, going down yet. He hasn't even made him mad yet. There he goes. Come on, Kobe, come on, man, get him, get him. Work that fish, man. He's gonna get you, man. Come on, come on. He's pulling back to the barge. Come on, hurry up. Come on. Come on, man. Get him up. Get him up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Real. Real. Come on. Let's get it. We're almost back to the barge. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Come on. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. He's right here. Come on. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Put the gloves on. I see the fish. Just hold your ground. You're doing good. You're doing really good. Come on, keep going, keep going, man. Come on, he's almost here, he's almost here. I see the fish. Come on, come on, oh, he's going down. Oh, come on. Here he comes, here he comes. Nice fish, nice fish. What a Ooh. nice fish. That's a nice fish, man. Thanks for that, man. Oh, you're not done. That was awesome. You're gonna get another one. This fish is probably about, I'd say about 200 pounds. You know, good stuff. This fish is about 200 pounds. It's, it's a nice fish. Good starter size. Thank you, man. But you gotta catch one a little right. bit bigger before the end of the day. Is that All a right. promise? Yeah, let's aim for 600. Ooh. This guy <laughs> wants to go big or go home. That was awesome, man. Thank you. Hey, man. You know what? Anytime. Was it worth the drive up? It definitely was. You ready to catch another one? <laughs> let's do it. All right, let's do it, man. I got another piece of bait right here for you. Let's do it. That's that's a giant right there, dude. Ready? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He eats this thing. He's gonna be serious. Just, oh man. Pull hard, pull hard, pull hard. You gotta horse him in. Uh, I'm horsing him in. Oh. Something slammed him. No, keep, keep him, keep him. Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. You think so? I'm on him, yeah, but something slammed him like real hard. Really? Like, boom. Yeah. As long as we that's, get him in the boat, man, that's all uh, that matters. Don't worry, I'm gonna him. Here, Kobe. I'm not feeding him to the sharks. No, no, no. More drag, more drag. I like drag. Oh, you like drag, yeah. but, when, but when, we're catching, when we're catching big fish, you're like, oh. Not too much drag. No, I don't want to get pulled over. Here, here. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Hold, hold, the, hold the right, hold the right. He'll turn, he'll turn, he'll turn. Here you go. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna walk around. He's getting chased. I'm turning. He's him. on him. He's on, they're on him. Yeah, but he's gonna turn around. He, no, he's coming. He's coming right around this way. He's getting chased. Come on. Hurry up. Hold you on. Come on. I am. He, did he turn? I got Oh him. man, big porpoise. Porpoise is on him. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Come on, Johan. Let's get him. They work so hard. The bonita? Yeah. Oh, they're amazing. Light tackle. Oh. There you go. It's a the, shark, the shark's on him. Shark's, oh, shark's on him. Ah! Oh. Come on, pull him up, pull him up, pull him up. Come on, Sharky. Pull up, pull up. Real, 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 real. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on. There we go. No problem there. Hey, Joshua. No problem. All right. All right. He. Uh... Let's see you catch the shark with that. Guys, back home, you want to see him catch a shark? Regroup with that? Yeah, I say we catch a shark, yeah. Yeah, I'm rigged up, ready to go. Let's do this. Oh yeah, here we go. 
Here we go again. Ah, crap. Hate when that happens. Hold on, let's get the microphone, let's get the microphone. Hold on. Here we go, here we go. Come on. Get that fish, get that fish. He's got it, he's got it. Yo, one, yo, one. Jesus Christ! Okay. Jesus Christ, roll camera, roll camera, roll camera. Jesus Christ, man. I still got him. You still got him? Yep. He still got the fish. Take the rod. You want, you want clipped? Okay, I got him. Okay, the drag. Okay. Not too much, not too much. Ah, not too much, I'm gonna lose it. It's all wet. Okay, bro. So that's how you guys get out of the water and you can pull them in. Yeah, man, that's... <laughs> yeah, you got your, sho you your shoes in there, man. That's your hat. Ah, oh, don't... Ah, oh, it's gone, it's gone. Oh, man. <laughs> I told you. I told you, don't go swimming Bro. with the microphone. Yo, Colby. That was an expensive shot. I hope you got it. The only thing that's going on is just to get back at the surface. Get back at the surface. What happened? You opened your eyes? Open my eyes. Yeah. Uh, did you unclip or did you really just release the brake? Uh, no, I just released it. I thumbed it back up and yeah. came back up. Yeah. So no problem. Yeah, it is. Josh, why did you why did you go in the water? What happened? Slipped, lost my balance. Yeah. I screamed for you. Yeah, I, I know. I, you know did. I, I, I I tried to grab you. Then I saw you flip flops in the air here. Like, oh my god. Tomorrow, yeah. my friend that's coming out. He wants to do the same thing in a stand-up harness. Hmm. We're tying a rope to his legs, yeah. to his harness, to his neck. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> you go too far, yeah. <laughs> So from now on, I'm gonna wear a tether. Tether, yeah. I'm gonna attach myself to yeah. something. We both uh, learned a lot today. And, and next time when I start screaming, Joan, 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 that means grab whatever save you me. can save me. and save me from getting okay. pulled over. Now I was calling, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. I think about the fans, the show, the collaboration project that we got going on, going on here with Black Tip Age. Well, Black Tip Age could have could have ended today, and <laughs> now grass would have kept going, yeah. and this is, this life is, goes on, right? Yeah, yeah. This is where it's supposed to be. Like, this is where it had gotten really big, you know. Yeah. <laughs> no, now we're good. Uh, we're gonna leave now. We're gonna say bye bye, and we're gonna see you soon. And we're gonna hook a big fish. Sounds good. See you soon. There's about to be a train wreck on the end of the line. Yeah. Uh, broken line. Here we go. Let him eat it. 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 This one probably. <laughs> I want you to just pull up. Set the hook. Yeah, you're just setting the hook. Set the hook. Yeah. Go, 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 now, now, now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Catch the bait to catch the bait to catch the fish. And it's fun catching Benita, you know? Good Bonitos. times. It's fun watching them get chased by the sharks and the Goliath groupers. Yeah. You're going to see. You're going to see one or two Benitas occasionally, they, they uh, die. Uh, <laughs> we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna lose a little more than that. We're going to try our best, though. That's what we're showing. We're not, if we anchor, we're going to lose more than 70% of them. Okay. So by trolling, we're going to kind of, we're still on the sharks. Oh, yeah, by standing down. still? It's, yeah, yeah. We're so now the, the Goliaths okay. can't follow us is easy you know we're gonna stay mobile mobile steer the boat and josh is gonna rig out where you want me to go josh just north or south uh just go slow very slow as slow as possible just in gear 
And just, just we're gonna start trolling around the barge, right? Okay. We're good. Okay, so I'm going forward like real slow here. Yep, like that. Yep. Like one knot. Mm-hmm. Perfect. My GPS right here. You see these? You see the barge? You see? We're gonna just troll right around. Yeah, this you area. got an external GPS here. Yeah, you need yeah. that. Because you bounce around so many boats. Uh huh. <laughs> but we got a brush here. So, yeah. So whoever whoever gets the boat dirty. That, that's cold base. Got it. Colby's. Colby's job, that's our uh, job. Yeah, no, Colby's is doing the camera and the brush. <laughs> uh, the, rule of, the rule when I'm on a boat is, he that makes the mess cleans it up. Hey man. Hey man. Glad you're here. Yeah, appreciate your channel. You got some really heavy duty fishing going on there. Yeah, that's what we like, we like the big stuff. Yeah. So we, we caught bait, so we can catch bigger bait. Which can catch the big fish we want. Which can catch the big fish we want. How big northern pikes have we caught? I've always Sharks and Goliath groupers, I'll, my pike story is still my favorite fish story. And I'll tell you the whole story right now. That was awesome, man. Thank you. Was it worth the drive up? It definitely was. I'm going to spot you. This is like powerless in the gym. If you don't have a spotter, you can go in the water and die. This is a very dangerous sport. Do not ever, ever try this by yourself. Yo, one, yo, one. Jesus Christ! We both learned a lot today. Hey, and next time when I start screaming, Joanne, 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 that means, that means grab whatever save you me. Can save me. And save me from getting pulled okay. over. Working for you? Yeah, it's still rolling. Yeah. Come on, you'll be the captain. Okay. What? You're captain? Yeah, no, 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 you're the captain. You drive. You drive. This is your thing. Rolling? Rolling. <clears throat> All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Yu Wanderwe, and I am from the YouTube channel Canal Gratis Daresi. And I've traveled to the Land of the free to fish with Joshua Jurgensen, who's everyone is curious about Colby now. They're wondering who's that guy who's with that this, name. Who's, who's this Colby? Col who's this Colby yeah. you speak of? Tell you what, he's a really fun guy, really nice guy. Got his own fishing line company. Oh yeah, Bull Buster Lines. We got yeah. it spooled on the reel over there. Really? Yeah, we spooled it up. Yeah, we're gonna go commercialize here a bit now. All right, we'll have a look at that later. We, uh, he's gonna he's gonna have to show us in person how strong those lines are. Yeah, you know what? Huh? How I about mean, that? <laughs> I've used it before, but we're, we're, we're going to put it to the test today. Yeah. It's a lot of fun, you know, from Europe where we fish, we do a lot of pelagical sharpshooting for sander. Yeah. Very quality to walleye. We sharpshoot, we find them on the sonar, we drop down, and we shoot them. And, um, or, or, or we fish for them. And, oh, he's getting uh, nervous, he's getting nervous. Real the good nervous. thing when you do that is that you learn a lot about sonar technology. And uh, you can take that information and apply it here. And uh, nobody here is actually going to care because <laughs> you don't need a sonar here to catch fish. No. Because they're like everywhere. <laughs> hey, I love catching pike. That's, one of my, that's my favorite freshwater species. Yeah. Because it takes a lot of skill to, to find a big fish, to consistently find big fish. Yeah. And it takes a lot more skill to get them to bite because they're smart and they yeah. don't always eat. And they're tricky because they, they follow the lure and they, they turn away. They follow it, turn away. I mean, I mean, how many how many of your viewers have gone through that? You know, they're hunting a pike and they got a big pike following the lure, but he won't hit. It's frustrating. Frustrating. But it's it, it's what makes you come back. Yeah. You know, there's a big fish out there. Yeah. Then you just put on a busted jerk, like rubber or whatever. It goes boom. How oh, big? How big? How big northern pike have you caught? Biggest pike I ever caught in my life. It took me three years to catch it. It lived at this marina. It's actually my. Of all the sharks and Goliath groupers, I'll, my pike story is still my favorite fish story. Oh, really? And I'll tell you the whole story right now. Let, you want to? You guys want to hear? You guys want to hear Joshua's pike fish story? I, I do. I've caught so many fish. I mean, different saltwater and freshwater species, but this is my favorite story. It took me three years. I was 14 years old when I finally got him. Um, this pike was so smart. For 15 years, people have been trying to catch this pike. You know, and, and it was in a marina called the Sportsman Inn in Killarney, Ontario. Yeah. Um, and we'd watch the pike follow our lures up. We'd watch him follow our lab bait up. I remember one time there was this giant school of suckers, all circling in, in, in a big vertical school. And um, I snagged one of them because I wanted to use it for the pike, you know? I snagged it and he, there was a floating dock right there. Yeah. And he Running Black Tip Age YouTube channel. Hey man. Hey man. Glad you're here. Yeah. Appreciate your channel. You got some really heavy duty fishing going on there. Yeah, that's what we like. We like the big stuff. Yeah. And today we brought a friend. We did. Colby. Yep. Coolest name in the world, I think. Colby. I think so. Yeah. What are we gonna catch today? What do you want to catch? Uh, I want to see Colby catch uh, like a really big Goliath. Colby is the guy behind the camera. Colby is the first one who's gonna get behind the rod and he's gonna catch a Goliath today. Don't you think so? 
I think so. You think so? But, you know, we're going to have to catch some live bait first. I think we're going to go try to get some live bonitas. Yeah. Fresh bait. We got frozen bait, but live is fresh and live is, is usually the best. Um, and we're going to try some different wrecks. Be sure to check out the Black Tip Edge. Let's head out and get them. All right, so we just arrived on the barge here and we caught some bait fish. Yep. The uh, bait fish sardines, no? Yep, we got some Spanish sardines. Spanish sardines. We're gonna use those for trolling? Yeah, we're gonna troll real slow. We're gonna get some bonita for goliath and shark bait. Yeah, so we, we caught bait so we can catch bigger bait. Which can catch the big fish we want. Which can catch the big fish we 